Hello there. Today I'm inside. It's a little cold outside. I just ordered a new knife and a new metal match. I'm going to take a minute, look at them, see what I think, and then go through how I go about setting them up. Let me readjust the camera and I'll be back in a second. So today, what I'm going to be using is this here knife. It's a Mora not sure exactly what it is i have this here metal match i have some jute i have some paracord i have two different needles at different sizes i have some silk thread i have some wax thread and some high visibility duct tape so let's get right into it with the knife i'm gonna open it up and take a look First impression, it's shiny. <laughs> Made in Sweden. Pretty cool. Nice little sheath. Ooh. Fairly nice blade. Fingerprints easy. Scandinavian grind. Got these little tabs on here so you don't slide forward. Fits the hand good. Nice and sharp. Nice curls. Yeah, let's say it's gonna do the trick. Locks in good. Case doesn't feel too durable, but for 10 bucks, what do you expect? Let's take a look at this here metal match. Nice little size. Need to do some sharpening with the file on the back side of this knife. Okay, well, we're going to take this wax twine first of all, wax thread, and make a little hank with our figure of eight. Probably be enough. Pull it down, tab up, wrap it around. Tighten that down, give it a cut. Done with that. First things first on this ferrocerum rod, I'm gonna take a short piece, a thin piece of duct tape, wrap around and make a good handle for dexterity. And for a fire extender, you get a good, good amount on here. And now I'm going to tie a fisherman's knot on the shot cord to make a loop.
And now I'm going to take this jute, hank it up so I can use it for building fires and have a little extra cordage. Now I'm taking some 550 cord and daisy chaining it to make a lanyard. Now I'm going to use the file to make a 90 degree edge on the spine of the knife. Well, there you have it. I got me an extra backup knife to my main Mora. Because two is one, one is one until you lose it. <laughs> my overall first impressions of this knife are I'm not happy that I had to sharpen the spine, but then again, it was a $10 knife. Um, the sheath is pretty chintzy. I feel like I'm going to break it if I'm too hard on it. But then again, it's a backup. It's not my main knife that I'm going to be using every day. It's really sharp. The blade's a little thinner with that Scandi grind. So it's really good for making feather sticks. I uh, actually like this ferro rod. It's a little smaller than my normal six inch ferro rod. A little lighter, not as easy to use as far as dexterity, but it works. Um, any other things? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be pretty nice backup knife. Something to have in your pack. That's always sharp use it very minimum minimal and yeah should work good don't use a neck knife unless you tuck it in your shirt when you're going up and down hills it'll choke you <laughs> i run two loops on mine so it comes apart pretty easy and i feel that this plastic would probably break so 
not too worried about it, but it can happen. So do your research. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.